The event was attended by traditional rulers from the area, Abga chieftains, parents of the beneficiaries, and many others. Addressing the gathering, Sinetumeku sponsored the scholarship program, which stands at the tune of 7 million naira, announced that 31 youth will be empowered with tricycles this week. Chief Ume said that apart from the 70 beneficiaries who received a check of 100,000 naira each to study in any university, polytechnic, and colleges of education in Nigeria, about 250 students are in various tertiary institutions under Vic to Mete Shari Education Foundation. He said that 40 physical projects will be cited in all the communities in the senatorial district, adding that the 2019 constituency projects will be attracted as soon as the federal government disburses fund for the program. It's complementing the existing foundation. You know, they will be working, uh, they will be operating together so that we we'll continue to happen. Right now, we have over 250 students in the university in the existing foundation. So absolutely now, there's nothing I can do for my people than to help to reduce their burdens and problems. That's what I have come here to do. So I thank everybody that has come here today. Chief Umeku said that the scholarship will last for as long as the duration of their courses they are studying. Also announced that he will flag off women empowerment by January next year as he is waiting for the government to release the 50 million naira approved for him for the program. Earlier, the Transition Committee Chairman for Anosha Council Area, Mr. Ikobi Ejofo, who is the chairman of the committee that selected beneficiaries for the scholarship, appreciated Senator Ume for touching the lives of indigent persons, recalling that 151 youths were trained in various skills last month, courtesy of of Sinetume. We are all aware that our Homadike, over the years, over 10 years now, have been giving scholarships to students both in secondary school, university, postgraduate studies, across communities, not just in Anambra Central, in the entire Anambra State and beyond. Some of the beneficiaries, Valentine Ezane and Ifunanya Ebubechuku, among others, expressed profound gratitude to Sinetume for helping them achieve their goal of quality education in life and promised not to disappoint him. I'm happy today. Uh, this man I came here to Dr. Chief Ume have helped us now in all aspects of our life in education. Now we have the boldness to go further to take the first step in education. Because all like before, we touch him, it was very hard for us. Most of us cannot afford so much of the hand that they are given on the school. Wow, it will help me a lot because we have suffered of paying my school fees for the hundred level that I have schooled before. But I thank God for Ohamadike for supporting us, for remembering the poor this year. It's really, I'm very grateful for today. Today is a special day in my life. The event climaxed with presentation of checks to each of the beneficiary from Anocha Council Secretary Neni. I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS News.